have the parent graph graphed, all right? And what I'm going to do, if I want to graph this, the first thing that I'll probably do, which I didn't do last one, which will probably make a little more sense, is I'm going to write the equation of um, our vertex form. a times x minus h squared plus k. Now, in this equation, do we have a k? No. So therefore, from my parent graph, I am not going to shift my graph up or down at all, right? Do I have an a other than 1? No. So therefore, the graph is not going to be squeezed, it's not going to be stretched, and it's not going to be flipped over the x-axis. So the graph's going to look just like this. The only thing I have is an h, right? Now remember, it's x opposite of h. So we need to understand, what is that x minus 4 going to do? Well, remember, if we were going to say the vertex, remember the vertex is h comma k. So h, remember, is going to be 4 comma 0. Because remember, it's the opposite. It's x opposite of h. So therefore, h is just positive 4. So if I say my vertex is 4, 0, that's shifting the graph to the right. So let's go ahead and graph what the parent graph looks like and then see what's going to happen. Because I remember, I told you guys, h shifts the graph horizontally. So graphing the parent function, which we all need to make sure we can do, okay? So there's the parent graph, okay? Now, I said I have a new vertex, right? My new vertex is 4 comma 0. So 4 comma 0 is over at 1, 2, 3, 4. So now that's my new vertex. So when I say x minus 4, where am I shifting my graph? To the right or to the left? You're shifting it to the right, right? So now I just follow my same steps. Up 1, over 1. Right 1, over 1. Left 2, up 4. Right 2, up 4. Anybody have any questions on that? No? Okay. Is it kind of making a little more sense? Kind of.